Racing this weekend is a bust. I don't like mask. Go all the way. Well, here we are. Truck bed. Need to give me one of those uh, shaker things. Well, that can sounds like it means business. Well, it's Saturday, and that means it's race day. Now, we've been playing the rain game all weekend long because it is supposed to rain all weekend long. So I thought about going to Flat Rock, Michigan. Well, that's just outside of Detroit, which means they're going to get the rain before we do. Also, Delaware was rained out last night. It was supposed to rain all day today. Now, it did rain overnight. Not a lot, but it did rain. Now, look at the radar. It's supposed to be raining here at 4 o'clock. According to that, hopefully you can see that, it's going to miss us. And if it misses us, this guy's butt's going to be sitting in the stands of Bucks and Speedway. And I hope you guys will all come along and join me. Hopefully we'll see you there. Well, I come to you with some bad news. Bad news. Racing this weekend is a bust. Especially our home track of Buxton Speedway. As you can uh, see there. We're rained out. Oh well, we'll be there next weekend. But, doesn't mean I don't have a video for you guys. Because we are doing some work to the Silverado. Uh, I wasn't planning on revealing a whole lot until future videos. But in this video, we're starting with the topper. The topper had some issues. And well, I'll explain it all there. Enjoy. Something seems to be missing. Well, good morning and welcome back, y'all. Yep, the topper is off the truck. That's because it's right here. I was going to paint this thing. I want it to look a little better. Look what's going on here. We've got the clear coat all peeling off this. It looks terrible. It doesn't exactly match the truck, but it's close. So I was going to mask everything off around the truck. All down the sides, the back, and everything like that. And paint it, sand it, and paint it while it was on there. And I thought to myself, you dummy. You know what's going to happen. You're going to end up getting spray all over that truck. So, here it sits in the front yard. We're going to get this thing sanded down. I'm just going to run over with some 220. Like I said, we're going to try and knock some of this off here. And, uh... We're going to spray it with some Duplicolor bed liner, texture finish, and we'll see how that turns out. First, let's get the sand. Well, we got her all sanded down. I think we're just gonna let it dry, go do some other things, and then uh, we're gonna get back and mask it off and put some paint on it. Well, we're gonna mask it off and put some bed liner on it. Well, we got it all sanded, all washed up. Now we're starting the masking process. Uh, kind of tedious, I don't care to do it, but take your time and do it right. It'll make for a much better product. So I'm gonna get this finished up. We get ready to spray, I'll be right back. Well, I forgot how much I don't like masking, but it's all done. It's all sanded down, wiped down. All ready for the bed liner. This is what we're gonna send, put on it here. Truck bed. I think it was like 18 bucks a can or something like that. It's a tall can. I'm probably going to need two, but I didn't want to buy two in case the first one sucked. And if it does suck, I'm going to let you know, but I hope it doesn't. But before I get spraying this on there, I think my stomach is telling me it's time for some lunch. So 
we'll get back to spraying here in a minute all right we are back from lunch turkey sandwich was fantastic you need to give me one of those uh shaker things that go in your sawzall to shake up your spray can anyway let's spray some of this on here and see what happens well that can sounds like it means business you guys uh, up on a perch over here and I'll get to this we'll see how it looks covering pretty good all right oh looks like it covers nicely it's a little windy too my guess is it's probably going to take about three cans to do this so i might have to run the canyon tire and get a couple more but i just want to get doubled up around around find some words here i just wanted to get uh doubled up around the windows there's both sides in the front and the top here well one nobody sees it two i know it's there and three i still want it covered completely so i'm going to use what i got on the sides for now so far i like this let me get the other side done and we'll have a quick look Well, after a quick run to Canyon Tire for two more cans of Bedliner, I was just about to sing the praises of DuPont when uh, this can at $19 quit halfway through. This is the first can. It managed to empty out. Uh, this can here, halfway through. But, it started throwing globs. And as you can see, there's some right there on the paper. What? Spot, 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 some more over there. I mean, it covers pretty good. That's about 55 bucks worth of bed liner in three cans, so it's 18 bucks a piece. It's not bad for what it is. I mean, this is not a $1,000 topper. It's a $200 topper. And uh, I just want to change the color. But I did make sure I got about four coats all the way around the windows. And that's what I mentioned earlier. This is the part you see all the time. That you don't. So I'm not obviously too concerned about the spots, although I'd rather them not be there. So I think we're going to start taking the paper off and see how it looks and maybe clean the windows. I don't know. I'm getting tired of spraying. Well, here we are. I didn't cover too bad. Oh, a little tough on the top with the rattle cam. Sorry about the uh, skid steer going in the back, but we're uh, getting some new asphalt someday. Not sure when, but 
recovered not too bad. A couple little runs here and there, but it dries quick too. Uh, would I recommend the DuPont? I don't know. There's a few other ones out there. Like I said, this one here decided to want to drip halfway through a can. But it is already dry, which is a good thing. The thing left to do right now is clean up some windows. So I'm going to clean them up real quick. Now, if we're going to go this far, we might as well go all the way. Clean the windows. Well, here's our final product. We got the windows cleaned only on the outside. Covered pretty good. I mean, it certainly looks better than what it did. It The color was close, but it wasn't uh, matching the truck. No, I'm gonna say, well, black doesn't really match the truck either. No, it don't. But it doesn't have the clear coat all peeling off it. So, this is what it is. Duplicolor truck bed black textured finish it is nice i'll give it that first can 18 dollars not a problem second can 18 dollars uh it's about one third full ran into a problem didn't want to spray and it dripped third can 18 dollars same thing out of 10 I would probably give this maybe a seven and the only reason I would give it a seven and not anything higher is because well it dripped and it left some marks on the topper not really a big deal like I said before you see here some over there some here some there it's on top you're not gonna see it so about 55 bucks total roughly and looks like a new topper so I'm going to let this sit here for a couple of days. I got some more parts ordered. They should be in shortly. And it's going to be a whole lot easier to do it while it's on the ground as opposed to on my trucks. So that's going to be part one of the topper rebuild while it's, the whole Silverado is getting done with some different things. But that part is the topper. I do have some other parts on order for it that are not here yet. Which is why I was going to do a whole series on that. But, you know, the weather threw us a curveball and you get what you get. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Folks, I appreciate you all sticking with me and hitting that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to us because our channel is growing fast. And did I say fast? I mean fast. Anyway, thank you all very much. See you all in the next one. Stay safe. Later. I've been working on a couple things. And leave me a comment down below if you know what it is. But I've been trying to work out some angles here some square tubing if you know what i'm building or you think you know what i'm building leave me a comment down below and this is a piece that gets cut out of there to make that corner what am i making